The International Peace Garden is located on the border of Canada and the United States, right in Dunseith. There's so much to do and see there, so for Destination Dakota, Lauren Davis was there to learn a little more about its history and what's new at the garden. In this edition of Destination Dakota, I'm here at the International Peace Garden. I'm here with Tim Chapman, and he's the CEO of the International Peace Garden. So can you tell me a little bit about the history of the Peace Garden? Yeah, you bet, Lauren. So the International Peace Garden was founded 91 years ago as a way to celebrate the peaceful existence and cooperation of Canada and the United States. And it's really grown incredibly in those nine decades to be uh, the home of the International Music Camp and a place where people can really just come and relax and contemplate peace and enjoy some time with family and friends. So 91 years is a fairly long time. What has changed since then and what's new? What's new and that's uh, going to really catch people's eyes if they haven't been in the last couple years is this incredible children's children's play area that we're standing in right now, which includes a turtle zone, a hawk and eagle zone, a beaver zone, and a wolf zone. And we're real excited to have this open now for just the second year because it's a whole new experience that the whole family can enjoy from the grandparents down to the grandkids. And it really speaks to the importance of the animals of our region, how they interact with the ecosystem, and also allows us to do some storytelling with our tribal partners on the significance of these animals within their cultures. So it's June, it's starting to warm up. What are some activities people can do now and then enter the summertime? So one of the best things to do in June is to really experience the perennial garden and the sunken garden and then other perennial beds because those plants are changing color and blooms every week through September. Um, so that's a great, great part of the experience before the annuals really hit peak bloom later in July. Uh, our hiking trails are open, uh, which really offer visitors an incredible opportunity to see the wetlands, the lakes of the Turtle Mountain region. And you often have a chance to catch uh, a glimpse of some of the big game, including the moose, the elk herds, um, all types of forest animals up here, and uh, all the waterfowl that come through in the summer too. Um, the Turtle Mountains and the whole Prairie Pothole region is known for being a big birding spot and there's uh, an estimated 200 species of birds that either live or come through the Peace Garden every year. Well, thank you so much for your time. Reporting for KX News and the International Peace Garden, I'm Lauren Davis. Peak bloom at the garden is from mid-July through mid-August.